Hey everybody, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna come to you today with some food for thought, uh, something that literally we, we could dialogue on for hours on end, I believe. It's a, a key concept in the body of Christ and it's something that certainly is um, very important to us as ministers of the gospel, which is, is any of us that um, as believers choose to follow uh, directions that God has given us to make a difference in our world. It uh, doesn't mean you have to be an ordained minister who's been to seminary. It just means that you're a believer who wants to be used by God. So um, there's a, a commission that we've been given, and I'll, I'll get to that here in, in just a minute. But um, my title today is Discipleship. That is the, the thing that I'm talking about here that uh, I think is, is key um, to us making a difference in our world. So many of you know, in fact, um, the reason probably a lot of you are watching is because you've participated with me, but over the last 25 years, I've spent uh, considerable effort uh, creating short-term mission trips and leading short-term mission trips and running around the world, going to many different nations and, and endeavoring to be a blessing and every, endeavoring to share the gospel and make a difference in people's lives. Um, these activities should all be along the lines of what's called discipleship. Now, I think sometimes we do things that uh, maybe don't really fit, <laughs> and so we, we should be open and honest with ourselves and adjust where we need to. But, you know, as a, as a mission-focused person, uh, Matthew 28 and verse 19 is one that you probably know. And uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read the first part. It says, Go therefore... And this is what's interesting. <laughs> I stop at two words. This is what inter is interesting to me. For a lot of believers, if I were to ask them without you know, any, any uh, teaching and prep beforehand, if I were to ask them, what are we supposed to do as we go into the world, whether it's in our hometown or in another country, they would typically say we're supposed to go preach the gospel. And I'm not going to say that that's a wrong answer. But what we're told here in Matthew 28, 19 is to go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And I think that's a key difference um, that includes the gospel. But he's actually asking us here to create disciples. So what's the difference? You know, is, is it enough? Uh, this would be a, a question. I'm going to have several questions today that I hope you can take them because our time together today is short. I hope you can maybe... Take these questions and these thoughts and, and take them and think on them and meditate on them and consider and ponder. Because what does it mean to create a disciple as opposed to just going and sharing the gospel? Is there a difference? And if there is, what is it? Uh, because I think it's key because we're really asked to go and make a difference by making disciples. So what does that mean? Here's the, another question. Is there a difference? you know, between being a believer and being a disciple. Can you, here's another way to say that same question, can you be a believer and not be a disciple? You know, and I mean, that, I don't know about you, but if you think through that a little bit, it's a bit of a challenging question. Because then I, you know, I ask myself, how many days do I go through where um, I'm a believer for sure, but am I being a disciple that day? And I think the difference for me would be, and I can't unpack this in detail but in our short time today, but I think the difference would be that when you're a disciple, you're in pursuit of him because he's in pursuit of us, right? But we're going to truly benefit from his pursuit of us when we turn around and pursue him. So am I asking him throughout the day, Father, what do you see? What are you thinking? God, Father, what does this person need? What could I say to them? What could I do? What could I give them? You know, th that would make a difference. What would touch their heart? Am I participating in that way? And am I saying, Father, what do you see? What do you see in me today? Father, what do you, when you look at me right now, what do you see? See, that's being a disciple. It's interacting. And then, of course, spending time saying, Father, I see this in you. Right? And returning that um, as well. So, so Matthew 28, 19, go therefore and make disciples in all nations. I hope that you're participating in that. I hope that you're taking that seriously. But then take it another step further. And I hope that you are being a disciple. Is, there a dis is, is being a disciple a choice and therefore an action? 
or is it a status? See, I think it's a choice and I think it's actions. It's not a status. It's a choice we make every day. So this really, um, over the next month could be for you, if you so choose, a, a unpacking of what does it mean for me, me to be a disciple today? And then take it the next step and say, what does this mean then that I take to others, to those around me, to my friends, to my family, to strangers who I bump into throughout my day? What does it mean to be creating disciples? So there's my little nugget for you. Um, I, I hope that's of a benefit to you. You know, for, for many of you, you're like me. Maybe we've been out running around the world over the last 25 years leading mission teams, and now we can't for a, a time here anyway. So we're, we're doing things a little bit different. And maybe this helps you uh, pull that little el element into your life and to make a difference in other people's lives. So God bless you. Thank you for uh, these few minutes together. And I uh, love and appreciate each one of you. And I'll see you again next month. Woo!